It's been 58 years since Ghana gained its independence. And up till now, it's still very unclear why many African countries face developmental and economic issues. Uh, money, money, people have been influenced in money and power. You know, people have been influenced in power and money and uh, all these things. But uh, at the time that there was the positive action or, you know, during the struggle and so on, people were selfless. They were selfless. Today, it seems as if there is something in politics. So uh, people are rushing into it or people are doing it without the, the, the uh, consideration for the ordinary man. When you are in politics, you are serving you are serving the country or you're serving your uh, fellow man. But it seems that thing has lost because uh, when, when I, during the time of the struggle and after independence, before independence and after independence, I was close to most of the leaders and they were all, whether in opposition or not, they were all striving for the people and the country. Today, I think that thing is losing or is lost. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah was the first president of Ghana since independence. Freedom! 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 If you are in, in, you know, lucky to have been born and to be present at such a time, and you saw what you know, the feeling that the whole of Ghana, the people of Ghana got. And today, when you're talking about government or we're talking about the progress, uh, there's nothing. And uh, so far, I haven't seen anybody rising up in the, uh, well, feet or uh, seat of Nkrumah to change things. Uh, and one thing with African governments, when one uh, government is overthrown, all the plans are thrown away and then new ones started. You know, but the things that Nkrumah started and did, and no one, nobody has done anything similar. If after so many years of his death, he will be uh, nominated or described as the best African politi politician or politi now, you know, he's, he's the number one African. Mandela has been there, all these other Africans, you know, leaders are there, but he's still, you know, Gaddafi has done his part and so on, but that's what we do. We bring down those who have got, because, you know, as I said, uh, before independence, we didn't need anything, we got everything. But when he comes on and says, tighten your belt, why should I tighten my belt if I get everything? But he knows what he's going to give you or what you should have, aim higher. Anytime that somebody wants to make you sacrifice a bit to get something better, you know, no, I've got what I want. Well, why should I worry? It's, it's my, my personal feeling, you know. I am not highly, you know, educated or uh, I haven't read much, I'm not a scholar, but in my own small way, I have seen a few things and I have, I have formed my opinion about things. We dedicate ourselves not only in the struggle to emancipate other territories in Africa, our independence is meaningless unless it's left off the totally break of the African continent. Anybody who can stand uh, equal to Nkrumah, I say this, you know, putting my neck on the stone to be cut if, if uh, anybody opposes me. There is nobody who has even been able to uphold uh, what Nkrumah did or continue it or or improve on it. Rawlings tried, but he was not 
the caliber of Nkrumah. He had overseas experience. He met all the Americans who'd been through. He met the brains, political brains in, in Britain. And so he was fully prepared. I would say politically he was even more prepared than Dankwa and Buzia, who invited him, who, you know, took him to Ghana, Kwaje and all the lawyers. First, and I'm always proud of this. I was the first to start as a, a regular newspaper photographer in Ghana. Started in Accra, but I traveled wherever there was the need for a picture. Uh, when the paper started, there was no uh, what we call litho department, photo. Uh, where they turn the picture into the printing stage, a plate or a block, is, is the litho department. So that's another development in the, in the process of, I um, mean, the development of printing, newspaper printing or publishing in Ghana, the first time that we had that. So from then on, uh, we just, uh, working full speed. After 10 years, I went to Ghana when Busia was, you know, the, and again, I didn't think too much of politics as what I was going to offer to Ghana. Because when I left here, 59, uh, six, 69, 10, 10 years, at the end of the year, I, I think I spent Christmas here and New Year in Ghana. Uh, I was at the uh, top of my profession, or what we say, fame and prosperity. And I, I shouldn't have left, you know, but then I had my family there, and I thought, you know, there aren't many Canadian photographers who got the chance that I had got you know, during the 10 years that I was in Britain. Even training in Ghana, 10 years, and then another 10 years here, not many. So if there is anything, go back and, and help out. And luckily, it, only, it wasn't just going to do photography, but it was going to establish color printing, which was not in Africa as such. You know, color printing, uh, and I thought, wow, oh, that's, that's nice. So I didn't think about photo photography. I, didn't, I mean, I didn't think about politics. I was thinking of imparting what I had learned, establishing color and uh, letting people do it. Uh, happy anniversary. Uh, even though it seems I've been uh, pessimistic or said a lot of things, I still hope, once there is life, there is hope. Uh, I still hope that Ghana has got the men, they've got the, we've got so much, you know, that's why uh, we're still proud to be Ghanaians. We've got so many intellectuals who can get things going. It only mean, needs, you know, uh, a little bit of the hand of God to change things, but it will happen. Otherwise, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even want to go to Ghana. But there is so much I want to offer to Ghana that I haven't given up yet. I'll go to Ghana and uh, help to build the country up before I, 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 I finish my task on earth. Uh, wish you all the best. Thank you.